they're all varying in sizes and colors. So what we're going to do is we are going to draw a koi fish. So I love this work of art. So what we're going to do is we are going to draw these two koi fish, a little one and a big one together. So let's do that. And I'm going to change my paper to a landscape. So we're going to flip that down and we're going to flip this down too. That way it's all together. There we go. Okay, so this is our inspiration for koi fish. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start sketching. So grab your pencil and let's get going. So we're going to go ahead and think of those shapes as kind of a leaf shape or a teardrop shape, a long oval that's going narrower at this end here. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead. Let's start with a small one here. So small to big like that. So here, up, and then down. Think of it almost like a roller coaster. So you're here, you're going up, then you're getting close to the top, and then you're going to go down and then back up a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead to this point here. We're going to make it really narrow. It's going to come up and it's going to come around. All right, so what we just did is the body right here. All right, so now let's go ahead and we're going to add the little fins right there and there. Now we need to add the face. So the face is going to come here and out. These are the eyes. They kind of bulge out on either side of the face. Then they go in. And then we have these little whiskers that kind of poke out. They're curved. And then we have the mouth. So now we have body, fins. This is where the eyes are going to go. And this is the front of the mouth there. Now let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and put those eyes in. So little curves here and here. And then we can just put a circle in the middle. And let's go ahead and for the tail, we're going to bring this out. And we're going to bring this part here out and in like that. So now we have a general shape to our fish. Now let's go ahead and let's do this big one here. So we're going to go ahead and let's mark right about here is where the front of the face is going to go. So that's right here. Now let's go ahead and bring that in a little bit. So up and over to the right. And then there's that little bulge for the eye that we can't see over there. So over here. And then we're going to go ahead and have a fin come out just a little bit. And then let's go ahead and we're going to put a line right about here. And then let's stop there. Let's go over down here at the bottom. So now let's do this part here. So this is coming out. And then this is going to be the spot where we're going to stop. Notice how there's kind of a curve line here. So similar to this line, we're going to go curve here. So this is the face here. Here, this is the body over here. So now let's go ahead and do another fin. So this one's a little bit longer because it's closer to us. And then this is going to come out and up, and it's going to narrow up right at the tail end here. And then we're going to add those nice frilly fins at the end. There we go. So we have a big fish and then a little fish over here. And we can go ahead and add the eye. So kind of a curve here, circle there. This has a little bit of some of those little feelers out there on the lips. And then we have the top of the kind of the spine area of our fish. And we have that fin coming up. You guys with a pencil, you get rid of this line right here. And right here, we can add that top fin right 
there. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we have the, kind of the bones down for our fish. Doesn't that look really nice? And now we're going to add some waves around the fish to make it seem like it's in water. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some, again, kind of shaky hand a little bit around our fish. So it almost looks like it's splashing. I'm just going to add some kind of curved lines over here, like that. There we go. Just a few areas where we can just kind of have that coming out. Very nice. All right, so now we have that down. We put down some of those watermarks. I'll bring that a little closer so you can see how this is going so far. So now we added our two fish. The water is on either side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some patterns in these water areas. So now you're going to go and you're going to learn all about how the Japanese make this silk fabric that they use for the kimono. So again, go down to the subscription and check out how that is made. And then let's come back. So go ahead. Now that we are all back, you've learned all about those beautiful fabrics that are made and all that time it takes to hand paint those long rows of fabric. So now what we're going to do is we are going to look at those fabrics that you can see right now on your screen and we are going to apply them in the water section. So these areas that we kind of squiggled out, those sections are going to have that patterning in each of those areas. So it's going to look really nice and it's going to have a lot of contrast. So we're going to put lots of detail in the water sections that are close to the fish. And then what we can do is we can either leave the rest of the water areas open and you could just color pencil them in with one solid blue or kind of greenish blue. And then with your fish, go ahead and color pencil those into a nice bright orange. In some areas, leave some white and then also go ahead and get a black color pencil or even your pen and go ahead and outline everything that you've done and it will really pop forward and it will look so beautiful. Here's my finished outline drawing of the koi fish. We are going to draw the patterns together in the next video. And also, just as a reminder, make sure you look down in the description box all the way down. I've had a few people questioning where the homework is. Make sure you look down there. That's where the homework has been. I also add some really fun videos in there. It's not mandatory, but I highly suggest that you check them out. It's always fun to kind of learn about different aspects of a culture so I always have those down there too in the description down below this video. Really nice work you guys and keep up the good work. I can't wait to see your koi fish. Have an artful day.